In this tutorial, I'll talk you through creating your first Sonar project for Notical. Start by creating a new project. It's a 16 track MIDI project. Now, for every track in this project, we have to set the record button and set the input echo button exactly as I'm showing you here. You run through and do this for each of the 16 MIDI tracks. Now I should note that this template project has been made available to you on the Intermorphic website. So there's no need for you to run through this process yourself. You can get the template directly and start working with it from the Intermorphic website. But it's very instructive for you to see this tutorial, I hope, to see exactly how things work. Next thing we need to do is for each of the MIDI tracks to run through and specify that each track listens to one and only one MIDI channel, which we do like this. So we set the channel number for each MIDI track to match the track number for each MIDI track. Right, we're halfway through, just a few more to do, whoops. And now just the last four tracks. Again, to reiterate, you don't need to go through this process yourself, just take the uh, tutorial template from the into Morphic website. Excellent. Then you'll see that each of these tracks is set by default to place as a Microsoft Wavetable synthesizer. Of course, you could configure your piece to play each MIDI track through a separate VST. Uh, synthesizer or DXI if you so wished. Right, we're almost ready to start playing through Notical, but first we'll double check our project options with respect to synchronization. And we're going to turn off any countdown to prevent any annoying clicks when the piece starts. And we're going to make sure that we emit MIDI synchronization events to Notical on the channel to which Notical is listening, which is MIDI Yoke channel 2 in this case. Right, let's go to Notical. Double check that our MIDI output device is set to be the same MIDI yoke channel that we've set up our Sonar project to listen to. And our MIDI input device on Notical is set to be the uh, MIDI yoke channel to which we are emitting synchronization events from Sonar. And we've also got the sync checkbox set. We're now ready to start Notical playing. So let's go. Notical will now wait for transport events from Sonar. So let's start everything recording. So now we'll now capture the MIDI event data from Notical and play it through whichever MIDI output device we've assigned to each MIDI track.